What's up you sim racers out there? This is Larry TJR Sim here and today we're looking at Dirt Rally 2.0 and I'm just having a just a, actually a great time with this uh, title here. It does have some quirks and bugs here but this video is just basically uh, just having some fun time with Dirt Rally 2.0 using my AccuForce V2 Pro, my next level racing V3 Motion you'll see in action and uh, the AOLog sequential shifter that I have and I am testing out the AOLog's new handbrake this is a 2019 model uh, here so review on that coming soon uh, but it's just putting it through its paces out here and what a better title to do it on would be Dirt Rally 2.0 so uh, you know as you can see here I was going through and trying to figure out <laughs> how to repair my vehicle but this was you know starting a new career and uh, you know I have no credits here so I can't really repair the dang thing uh, but you know I'm discovering that but after I ended up finishing there's a, a accumulation of three races here is what it is uh, and uh, after that then I earned uh, quite a bit of credit to where I can go back and repair my vehicle neat thing is here uh, you know you can add how many spare tires you go through it actually pauses the game when you repair your tires uh, don't pause the game. The countdown's still going, but you know you sit there for about 30 seconds as as uh, your a ghost is out there repairing your, your your tire. It would be really cool if they added some uh, footage of it of like your co-driver getting out there and repairing your tire or yourself repairing the tire uh, when you're out there on the uh, on the track though. But, but yeah, it's actually pretty uh, interactive uh, with the. Uh, motion here and the ALOG's uh, sequential shifter and handbrake is working beautifully in this uh, game here as, you, as you'll see here really good pull on the handbrake it has uh, just the right amount of travel uh, has some pretty good uh, four kilograms of force pull for it uh, it's a little light for my uh, not my liking it, it works perfectly but uh i would like it a little bit heavier and uh but other than that it's actually pretty dang good so uh good feedback through as far as uh the length of travel uh feels just about right and the uh pull force is like i said it's it's good it's adequate enough uh it's pretty comparable to say the fanatic pull force uh, on their handbrake, their version 1.5, except this one's built like a tank, uh, where I've used the Fanatic for years and uh, it's not built like a tank. Uh, that's the only thing I think they should update on their on their um, product lines is their handbrake and their actually their sequential shifter as well. But uh, yeah, this one's actually working out really good here. And then as you can see the motion going up and down, pushing me around, chunking me around. Uh, motion, next level racing, uh, of course they stepped up. This was already released uh, as an update before, about a month before this game even came out for pre-release. And we're looking at, you know, this is three days early uh, that I'm on this title, I think. So I hadn't had a whole lot of time to mess with it. Maybe it's two days early. Uh, but I did the pre-order on it so I can get it four days early, which, you know, pre-orders tend to seem to <laughs> uh, be hit or miss on most of these games, but I like to support racing titles. So I went ahead and pre-ordered it so I can get the extra cool cars as well right out of the bat because I don't have as much time as, as some of you youngsters do um, racing and, and unlocking all these cars. But, uh, yeah, other than that, pre-order is actually... The game's actually running really good. Um, there is some... So I'll tell you what I, I, I see my findings out of this game so far. The graphics are beautiful. Uh, the only two problems I have, and it's all over the place, that stutter you just saw. Uh, it doesn't matter that I'm running anywhere from 60 to 100 FPS, and I'm running on my uh, 1440p, uh, 3440 by 1440p monitor right here uh, with Acer Predator X34 is what it is. And um, it doesn't really matter that uh, my 1080 Ti is, is more than keeping up with this game. Uh, everything on, on some cu custom ultra settings, basically. Uh, some on high, some 
some stuff turned off, but most of it all. Uh, shadows, I think, are on medium, I believe, on this one. But it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful looking game. Uh, and it drives really well. But like I said, getting off track here with some positives. But uh, the two issues is frame stutter and force feedback. Now, the force feedback, well, we'll take it first. First, the, uh, the uh, frame stutters, like I just was mentioning, it just stutters automatically. Just every so often, there's a stutter. And I can turn everything on low settings and it still get the stutter. It has nothing to do with uh, the graphics card. It's just something inherently with the game itself. So, uh, but yeah, stutters are happening. Uh, but that is the fix they're working on. And I uh, even had them reply back to me on Twitter saying, they, yep, they, they know about it, they're working on it. And uh, force feedback as well. That's the second one. Uh, as far as hard jolts and stuff, they're pretty dang strong, especially with the AccuForce. Uh, but, uh, you uh, you don't have a lot of road texture feel with the force feedback. That's the only downside for this game right now. Uh, but they are working on that as well, uh, from my understanding of what they actually replied back. So, um, but yeah, good stuff. Oh, I think I got. Well, let's see what place I got here. But anyway, uh, frame setters and force feedback. That's the only two things being fixed. Oh, I got second. That's what I got. Awesome. Uh, moving forward though, uh, the game is working out really well for me, uh, besides those things. I think once the stutters get fixed, it'll be so smooth to play because like I said, it's, it's beautiful. And then, uh, of course the force feedback is not, you know, like I said, the only thing you're missing is the road texture feel in it, but you get the hard jolts and uh and the crashes and stuff so you kind of have to watch it keeping those settings at around 100 percent maybe 125 uh, but any way you play with the suspensions uh it's not quite there now for settings wise what i have in game is i have the um the tires up to 150 percent the suspension 150 percent uh soft lock i think at 100 uh the other two top settings I forgot what that mechanical is at 50 and the very top setting and I'm going off a of memory obviously here is at uh, 50 as well so the very first two settings are 50 and uh, I think that's uh, the second one's mechanical I know the third one's tire tire I have all the way up to 150 that gives me a little bit more feeling of what my car's doing even though I'm not getting the subtle force feedback that I want, but I am able to tell what my tires are doing better at that setting. Suspension setting, like I said, again, going over it, uh, 150, and, uh, and that's about it. So as far as the AccuForce goes, I have a little bit of um, friction around 3% and um, inertia at 3% as well. And the wheel setting in the AccuForce is at 540. Uh, and yeah, 100% intensity. It's so about everything's working really well with the AccuForce. I can't wait to AccuForce or to Sim Experience updates the AccuForce with uh, the Sim Commander 4. They're actually already working on it, or been working on it, been testing and stuff. So that's coming soon. Should come out by the actual official release of this game. So uh, that's gonna. It wouldn't even matter if. Uh, <laughs> if uh, these guys fix the force feedback because I'll be able to pump up some road textures with the Sim Commander software. So it'll probably be dang perfect then, you know? So anyway, uh, oh, quick note. I got some stuff on the screen here. Uh, you can actually turn on, map your windshield wipers, which is cool. Uh, but to turn off your windshield wipers, you gotta hold, whatever button you map to the windshield wipers, you gotta hold that button down and it turns them off. <laughs> I didn't do it here, but I was cycling through trying to turn these dang things off and they just kept going faster or slower, faster or slower. But if you hold down the windshield wiper button, it turns it off. But uh, anyway, uh, pretty, pretty fun game. If you have motion, uh, it's, it's, it's the bomb, man. Uh, it really brings this game in effect. And actually, I'm not... Look at that quick little 180 turn. But... Uh, <laughs> You know, even though the force feedback isn't up as high as I like it right now, it's perfect with the motion settings that, I ha that I'm running. So uh, I can share them with you on my uh, Google Drive if you're interested in those and uh, throw it out there for you. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, really enjoying it. Just kind of a quick look. 
at this game. Uh, you get some really good uh, caught in the air moments, uh, especially with the motion, because you know, your motion rig will push forward when you're compressing. You know, the tire's going up a hill, and then once you get that unsprung weight at the top of the hill, it just seems like your motion just goes, you know, it just suspends right there, you know, and it's, <laughs> it's a really cool feeling. Uh, when you have the compression of the tires coming back down when you actually hit the ground and stuff. So, uh, highly recommend someone to get, uh, all y'all to get motion. Just go get it, you know? Just, you know. Maximize the moment with your master car. No, I don't know. But if you can't afford it, if it's in the budget, I do recommend motion as well. Um, man, look at there. There we go. Sliding through that corner. Handbrake working beautifully. Six left. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I cannot say enough about this setup that I'm running right now. It's very fun. Sequential uh, shifter of the AO Lodge is, is uh, just perfect, really. I just love the feeling of that sequential shifter. Of course, I've already done a review on it. You know, y'all can check that out as well. But, uh, yeah, everything I'm running here is definitely recommended. Obviously, I bought most of it, so. <laughs> but, but even if I hadn't bought everything, I, I still recommend what I got when I'm running. It works really well. What we do here? We got seventh place here. Continue on. I think this is the last. Yep, this is the last race coming up here. I think it's like stage three or something. I may have skipped recording the very first stage. I think there's four stages in this particular uh, setup here. But I did some practicing and stuff, and it's pretty neat when you, uh, you can lose your doors, you can lose, uh, of course, obviously your tires and stuff like in Dirt Rally, <laughs> and uh, stop and change them. Your co-driver tends to get excited, more excited, you hear his voice kind of travel upwards, uh, a few octaves when you're getting closer to the finish line, like he's excited that we're almost done with this, and he survived. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty neat. A uh, little stuff here. Some of these corners are pretty tricky. I mean, this is the first time I've seen this track when I, of what I'm racing uh, right now. So it's uh, pretty tricky, some of these. But I, you know what? I like the the girth of, the, of these trails. You know, they're a little bit wider and a little bit more forgiving. You can hit some of the grass here, as you can see, and uh, without upsetting, you know, or without hitting some blind object. Now, I have hit some rocks that were in these grass and stuff. It seemed like and uh, <laughs> really screwed me up. But uh, other than that, though, it does have a little bit of a more forgiving track, but still tight enough to where you have a decent feel of speed. Uh, I could stand now in this video. The 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 speed seems pretty good. You know, running 60 to 100 FPS most of the time. But you're in car speed. You know, at this particular position, I am in the car feels a little slow to me when I'm actually driving it but going back looking at this replay talking about it it looks pretty on par uh, but that's you know it would be nice to have the uh, visual speed uh, increase a little bit on this game too so that would be my third con <laughs> uh, the force feedback the the uh, frame stutter and visual speed being a little bit faster on this good thing is VR is coming to this title too so that's another great thing I think that'll increase the visual speed uh, if, of course if they don't fix the frame stutter VR will not be a good thing to have with that look at that wreck that car Or you can adjust uh, when your guy talks and stuff as well. I think there's a bump. Yeah. Now you, you get some really good feeling with this motion. You know, when you finish a race, dirt, a Dirt Rally 2.0 race, with this particular setup I have with the AccuForce, the uh, Next Level Racing V3 Motion, and of course using the handbrake and shifters and stuff, uh, you're pretty damn tired actually. So. It's not like it's just sitting in a static rig, you know, and you can just go for hours and hours without being, not winded, but, you know, a little, little uh, tired. Because, you know, this rally racing is, is kind of uh, stressing to your mind as well to try to look far enough ahead. Oh, that's a fun jump. <laughs> uh, far enough ahead 
Uh, so it does have some stress on you right there. But then you got the motion actually throwing you around as if you're in the dang car. And uh, yeah, so it's <laughs> it gets pretty dang involved. Very, very immersive. Anyway, that's gonna, uh, you know, this is gonna finish up the first look at Dirt Rally 2.0. Of course, uh, running with full motion, AccuForce before Sim Commander 4 gets their update, and um, all the AO logs, goodies there, sequential shifter and handbrake, uh, working beautifully here as well. And that's my favorite tree. There we go. We're done. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe. Hit the little bell notification. You know the, you know the spill. And uh, we got more coming to you later. I'm out. Stage finished.